popped into my head, and now I don't know what school I'm going to. Corey tells me you've been accepted into university. Which ones did you get into? I mean, how am I supposed to know what university is right for me? Eastern by far has the best profs, but Davenport would mean living up north, which would be awesome. But now you have me thinking bullshit, like, what if my future wife's gonna be attending Robinson in fucking Toronto? I thought you didn't even believe in fate. Destiny is just an excuse for lazy people. Hard work equals good life, the end. I have to go. This is what I've been working towards my entire existence. Get good grades, attend good schools, be a good writer. You just weren't writing for the right people, that's why you didn't do well. They contacted you. They like your script. They want you to intern. Something writing on your arms. It's so I don't forget about stuff that I want to write about later. My arm's attached, better chance I won't lose it. They like it. I should be able to buy us a bigger house. Maybe build a basement apartment for your mom. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be much of an issue if you weren't so loud. As long as you're my subject. The alternate. Time goes by you just think that because you love me. Well, you don't need more, do you? No, never. I do believe me is... Stark. Ryan Stark. I want to ask. Oh, look. I do see one. It's an ostrich giving birth to a hippopotamus. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Yeah, you are. The cold stares from your sharp shoulder blades. Hot glares from your cheap shush rays. What the fuck, Maddie? This is none of your business. Butt out. You know what, Ryan? It's my business. I just want to say that... I don't care what you have to say. Just fucking leave now. Corey, can you please just forgive me? Nothing. I have an essay due tomorrow. I'll start it again. Do, do you think I'm an idiot? I can't do this anymore. Keep trying. Okay? Just keep trying. But you're happy. Completely. So you're happy? Yes. I'm ecstatic.